I'm Georgia Wade, I'm studying urban data science and analytics and I'm from Peterborough. Geography was always my favourite subject at school. It's just something I've been very passionate about, talking about climate change and the future of our planet really, it's just something that I wanted to know more about. I was looking at the different courses online and then I saw this one and thought this is something that I'd really like to go into because it looks at a lot of statistics and things that I'd done in my undergrad like GIS and things and I just knew that I wanted to carry that on. Being able to choose the optional modules is probably one of the main reasons why I chose to do this master's. Last semester we did like geographical data visualisation. So that's a lot of GIS focus. We've started using a programme called QGIS, which I wasn't familiar with. And I think that's probably why I went into, into this, because it was learning a new skill and a new programme, which I really wanted to do. And a lot of employers ask for experience in GIS. So it's, it's a needed skill. <laughs> I have really enjoyed it so far. We've had um, a mixture of compulsory and optional modules. There's another compulsory module, um, which is like just getting into computer science and that's all been delivered online um, as a big workbook that you sort of work through yourself at your own pace. It's very mixed in the way that it's taught, which is nice because it's not just like lecture and essay. We do presentations and that counts towards your grade and that kind of thing. It's a very interactive way to learn um, and it's nice to refresh the material from other people in the class and hear their perspectives on everything. The academic staff have been very supportive. Um, we have in class or in the lectures with us most of the time to PhD students who help us with a lot of like technical questions and, and things like that. I have used the My Career Service and help from the Career Centre a lot whilst I've been here. Um, they helped me get into my year in industry and they've already pointed me in the direction of some PhD um, applications to put myself forward for. They do offer like help with CVs and things like that, so how to best tailor your skills and put them onto the CV. The Masters wasn't really accessible for me in terms of how much it cost, um, but then when we got emails about the different scholarships and things, then it was actually something I could consider. So I was always part of the PLUS programme, so I got an email about the Leeds Masters Scholarship, and when I applied for that, um, for this course, then they came back and told me that there was another scholarship available for this specific course, which is the data science scholarship as well, to get uh, like underrepresented people in data science. I think the best thing about Leeds is the, the places that you can go, the things that you can do, so many nice walks and yeah, the, the places you can go and eat are very good. <laughs> Leeds has so many societies for so many different interests. I was in hiking society, been in basketball, women's basketball society, and now I'm stand-in president for the Green Party Society. It's just really nice to be around people that have a shared interest. If you're thinking of studying a master's at Leeds, do it, apply, because it is the best decision that I've made.